Hi guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new, welcome. My name's Kaylin and I have alopecia and I make lots of videos about that and wigs and a little bit about my life is just on here, but yeah, if you're new, welcome. So if you clicked on this video, obviously you saw the title and you already know what it is about, but today I wanted to talk about and show you how I freshen up kind of an old tired wig. So I have this one on today. This is the uh, Noriko Haley. This one I've had for a while. I used to wear it quite a bit and then I kind of switched to my blonde one for a little while, but this one was in need of some freshening up and I felt like I would not start wearing it again until I gave it a little bit of love and freshened it up. So I figured if I was going to do that, I might as well film it and show you guys and talk about it. So before I get started, I just wanted to first talk about kind of what helps a wig last longer or the different things that can shorten the life of your wig, I guess. So for me, a couple things that I have learned, there's a few things that can shorten the life of your wig. So... One of them is just how often you wear it. Do you wear it every day? Do you only wear it every once in a while? Is it kind of a going out wig or, you know, different things like that. So the amount of times and days and how often you wear your wig is going to play a part in how long it lasts. But another thing that is going to play a part is how you store it. So the best way to store a wig is definitely up on a wig head so that it can sit on there and the hair can hang how it's supposed to and it will help it hold its style. It won't be like, you know, laying down, getting flattened out or rubbing against itself or anything. It can just sit nicely on that little wig head and, um, help keep the style. Another thing is how often you wash it and how often you wash it is going to depend on how often you wear it. So, I mean, I would also think that if you lived in a place with more pollution than somewhere else that you might need to wash your wig a little more often than someone who lives in a place with less pollution. I don't know. I would, I would just assume so, but, um, yeah, it depends on how often you wear it. So those are a few factors. I might have missed some. If anyone watching this knows of any more, you should let me know down below. But those are the things that kind of stick out in my mind and that I have learned can either help me prolong a wig or have less time with it. Unfortunately, as soon as you take a wig out of the packaging and you start wearing it, it's going to start to lose some of its life. Um, but there are some things you can do that can help it last longer and just to take care of it. And so you get more time with your wig. So now that I've kind of explained things that affect the life of your wig, let's talk about what you do when you've had a wig for a long time. It's still you don't want to give up on it yet, let's say. It's not, you don't want to toss it yet or can it. So there's still hope for the wig. What are some things that you can do to kind of bring it back to life a little bit? So for me, the very first thing, I think there's a helicopter outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but for me, the very first thing I do is give it a wash. So um, for this wig, I've already washed it. So I won't be showing that step, but I do have a video already on how I wash my wig. So I will link that up here. I don't know what side it shows up on, but I'll link that video so that you can see how I wash my synthetic wigs. And also I should note, this is specifically what I do for my synthetic wigs to bring a little bit of life back. So I give it a wash. That is the first thing. The second thing I do is well, I don't always do this. It depends on the wig. You can, sometimes the ends of your wigs can get a little bit of, a little frayed from what I'm assuming is from the rubbing on your clothes and your shoulders. So you can trim, trim up the ends a little bit, thin them out. Obviously, be careful if you've never cut hair or, or anything uh, with your wigs because once you cut it, it's obviously not gonna grow back. Um, or you could even have a friend help you that, that knows how to cut hair or take it to a hairdresser. Not all hairdressers have cut wigs before and not all of them know how, but you might be able to find someone in your area that can help you just trim up the ends a little bit, clean them up and do that. But thirdly, after I've done those two things, if I'm going to do both, I, I will steam my wig. So I got this Conair steamer uh, from Target a few years ago and it's lasted me really well. I first learned about steaming your synthetic wigs from, I believe her name was Shirley. 
really awesome lady and she was the owner of the store wigs warehouse in Gresham which was where I got my first uh, synthetic wigs as an adult after I had to send my locks of love wig in for some repairs so she told me that you can use your steamer to not only help with some of those frayed ends I've noticed it can kind of like re-straighten them out but it kind of applies a little bit of moisture also to the hair while you have the heat of the steam to help you What's the word I'm looking for? So while you're while you're trying to steam out some of those frayed ends and kind of restore some silkiness to the hair, it will use heat to do that, but while also applying some moisture from the steam so it doesn't damage the hairs. So that is another thing that I do. And I haven't done that on this wig yet, so I'm, I am gonna show you how I do that, although I do feel even just after a really good wash, um, this wig already looks a lot better, but Let's go ahead and go into my bathroom and I will show you how I steam my wig. Okay, so we're in my bathroom now. I've got my little mobile wig head attached to the counter. My steamer is on and ready, the green light's on. I put water in the little reservoir. And then the only other things I need for this is a big clip to separate the hair into sections and a brush. So ignore all the hair in my brush. But we have these, so we're ready. Let's get this wig off and on the wig head and let's steam it. So what I'm gonna start by doing is just separating the hair into sections, um, just like girls do when they straighten their hair. Um, separate it so you only have to work with a little bit at a time. That's what this big clip is for. And then we'll brush it out before we Start. And here we go. brush it out first and then go in with the steamer. It already feels like super soft and silky. Funny story. Well, not really funny, but just random fact, or I don't know. Um, I'm actually not very good at using this wig <laughs> because my husband got this for me for Christmas, and I'm actually used to doing this with it on my own head. So, um, this is only like my second time steaming a wig with the wig head, so. Still kind of getting used to it. One thing I could actually relate to with the girls with hair was, since I always had to do it with it on my own head, was to not do your hair after upper body day. <laughs>
guys, the steaming part is all done. And seriously, I don't know how exactly the steam works or what it does, but it just feels like so silky again. Like, so soft. I love it. It makes me want to go do all my wigs. <laughs> but actually, since I have this out and ready, I probably am going to go and do my other Noriko wig. Uh, my other Haley, the blonde one. But that hardly took like any time at all. I think it's been maybe 10 minutes or less. But yeah, that was the whole steaming part. So as just another touch, I'm gonna take um, just a little extra. This Brilliant Shine, I hope that focuses, um, spray for synthetic hair. Um, it just says to maintain luster spray on synthetic hair before each wear. I don't do it before every wear because I just feel like that puts excessive product in your wig. But since we've steamed it, freshened it up, washed it, we're just gonna spray a little bit in it, just, just for a little added, you know. You don't wanna overdo it or spray too close, but okay. And then one last thing that I forgot to mention earlier that I also like to do is you actually take the wig. Let's see, I'll hold it over here, hopefully you can see. You actually take the wig, hold it, completely upside down so that all the hair is falling the opposite way it is supposed to and just give it a good shake like ruffle the hairs up ruffle the wig up it's not gonna hurt it um, shake it around it just helps bring some life and body back into the hairs and another thing I actually do I normally do this with my pick but it's in the other room I'll actually even brush it this wig's in, this head's in my way. <laughs> I'll brush all the hair. I hope this is in the frame, I can't see. Actually, out. So, there we go. Let's put it back on and show you guys. All right, so we just got done steaming the wig. I got chilly, by the way, that's why I put a sweater on, but as you can see before, now that we flipped the wig over and tousled it around too, it was laying super flat on my head before, and now it has more body to it, already has more bounce to it. It just looks nice and fresh, and I don't know if the camera totally picks it up, but just in person, it looks a lot better, a lot more fresh, um, a lot more lively, and I wish that you could feel just how silky smooth it feels. But yeah, that's how I give some of my older wigs a little bit of love, how I freshen them up a little bit. I hope I didn't forget anything. I'm sure when I watch this back, I will think of something or see something that I forgot to say. But if I do, if that does happen, I will put it in the description below. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped or was helpful to anyone who has a wig that they're not ready to say goodbye to, but it's not really looking its best. So subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos and stick around. I would love it if you did. Give this a thumbs up if it was helpful or maybe it just inspired you to go give your wig some love or go get a steamer and steam your wigs. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.